Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So in my last video, I showed you guys how you code the FRM module using the IMPA suite with WinKFP and NCS Expert and the, and the uh, Windows laptop and everything. So today I thought I'd kind of continue showing you your way around these apps by showing you how to do a fuel pump test on your uh, BMW. So what you're gonna need again, as before, is you're gonna need your KDCAN USB cable, so we'll plug into the car with this. And then we will plug into the laptop and the USB port. And uh, I didn't mention this in the last video, but you have to set up your USB port. Uh, you just go to Device Manager, go to COM port when the USB is plugged in, and uh, set your latency to 1, and make sure that your uh, KD can is set to latency 1, if it even has a latency setting. Uh, mine just, I think, is always on latency 1, but uh, it's just something you uh, should do. Um, as always, make sure you're hooked up to a trickle charger. You're going to be uh, using a lot of power from the battery to do this test, and uh, you don't want to have your car die. So you just have it hooked up to a trickle charger, and you'll be good. So without further ado, let's get you over to the screen, and I'll show you how to navigate your way through INPA and run this test. For this, you're only going to need the actual INPA program. You're not going to need WinKFP or NCS Expert or anything like that, just INPA. So now I'm going to put you on the screen. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and go to our uh, BMW tool suite. We're going to go ahead and choose INPA. And uh, we've got a cable connected, ignition on. So next thing we're going to choose is E90 because that's what my car is. So to do the fuel pump test, you're going to go to your engine. And you're gonna. it looks like you would just go to fuel pump EKP. It's not right. So you're going to choose your motor, so M52, M54, M55. I have an M54, MSD 80, 81, that's what the uh, DME is. So at this point, you're going to go ahead and you're going to see component triggering for F6. It could be something else, um, but uh, you're going to choose that. So my computer, you have to hold function F6 to get it to work. Then you're going to choose uh, actuator activation 1, so that's F1 again. Uh, you can push it down here at the bottom too. And then you'll see F5 is electrical fuel pump EKP. So choose that. And it's just EKP at the bottom. And then use F1 or the on at the bottom left to turn on the fuel pump. And at this point, if you're not on the trickle charger, get your car on the trickle charger. And now uh, I'm going to run it, and it should be at approximately 100%. I think last time I ran it was at 99.6, so let's run it and see what happens. And you'll be able to hear the fuel pump working um, pretty loudly from the back in the passenger seat area. And this should run for about 15 seconds. And at this point, you're going to hit back while it's doing that. Back again. Uh, you're going to hit F2. And I didn't move fast enough. So we're going to have to go back again. We're going to choose actuator activation F1. We're going to do F5 again. And this time, hit on and immediately go back. We're on again. We're going to go back. We're going to hit uh, back again. We're going to hit activator 2, and we're going to use the control valve F6. And it should be close to 50,000, just under it, at the rail approximately. So we're around 49. So we're good. That's about uh, 72 PSI, possibly a little bit less. So it's, it's doing its job. And uh, you can also run this test with the car on, and I believe that it should be at about 50,000 then, and uh, that would be your rail pressure. It says up here, condition greater than 50,000, so it's about what you'll have when you run it. Um, and as you see now, it's not running. The numbers are falling back down. So I have a healthy fuel pump. I mean, it's not. It's just right in the range of what it should be. And uh, so... That is how you test your fuel pump on a BMW using the INPA. It's pretty easy to do, um, and it's pretty neat some of the stuff this can do. I mean, like, you know, we hit back, and we can go see it's got oil pressure control, oil pressure valve, boost pressure actuator. You know, it's got all sorts of uh, things you can check. Throttle valve heater. Let's see what else is in uh, activator one. 
you got Vanos test, um, you know, electrical uh, lambda. So that's the um, your O2 sensors. You've got a shift function, so the alternate functions over here. I don't even know what all of this does yet. I'll have to go through and really check this out. Uh, DMTL pump. I've had to replace that on my car. But anyway, th this is a really cool software. It's really neat how you can just test all these different pieces of equipment. Uh, looks like right over here, you could check with F8. You could do the water pump. Let's see what, what comes up. Okay, so you could you could actually test the fuel water pump at different delivery rates. That's pretty neat. I'll have to look into this more, and uh, perhaps we'll make a video on that at some point. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.